Hello, today we are going to talk about our leaks of the Samsung S9. But before a bit, I should say that there are no any official confirmed information about Samsung S9. So some of the leaks may not be in this phone in the future. So first of all, there is going to be the two version of the phone. The smaller 5.8 inch display will cost about $900. And about $1000 for Samsung S9 Plus with a 6.2 inch display screen and a bigger battery. So the second leak and the actually the most anticipated one is that Samsung S9 is going to have a 7nm processor architecture with Snapdragon 845 chipset, which is basically means that phone would be way much faster and will save the battery for a longer time than the Samsung S8. The third leak is that Samsung S9 will have under-screen fingerprint sensor. So as you may remember, in the Samsung S8, the fingerprint sensor was located on the back of the phone. Plus, it was too close to the camera that people was instantly tapping the camera instead of the fingerprint. And you might say that it would be cool to have a fingerprint sensor on the display. But as soon as this leak became popular, appeared information that Samsung have technical difficulties in developing an under-screen fingerprint sensor. So most likely, fingerprint will stay on the back of the phone. Right now for Samsung way more important face recognition technology which is also should be in the Samsung S9. Now as you may know that only Samsung S8 Note had a dual camera. So now in S8 everybody waiting for a dual 60 megapixel rear camera and also a dual 12 megapixel front camera in all versions of Samsung S9. Another huge leak that most likely Galaxy S9 is not going to have a headphone jack. I do actually believe that leak because Samsung really love the wireless technologies, plus it's going to make Samsung S9 way more water resistant. Anyway, it's all cool, but what about design of the phone? So let's take a look at the first prototype of Galaxy S9. Now again, there is no officially confirmed information how this phone is going to look like, but as I think this prototype is the most real one to happen. The first thing that we pay attention on is display. As you can see, display will be bigger and there is not going to be any down frame on the phone. And the upper frame is pretty similar to iPhone 10. The back of the phone looks great. As you can see in this prototype, fingerprint sensor located at the middle of the phone. It's supposed to be more comfortable now. And it looks like people wouldn't tap cameras instead of fingerprint sensor anymore. So that's it for this video, as soon as any new leak going to appear, I will make a video on it. So be sure that you press the like button and subscribe to my channel.